on October 1, my wife and I had VIP tickets um, in an area called the Neon Lounge. And the Neon Lounge was closest to Mandalay Bay. Nearing the end of the concert, uh, we decided to make our way from the Neon Lounge towards the vehicle because we didn't want to get totally stuck in traffic. We decided we'd walk across the field where everybody was. And I was holding a plastic boot with a little hat on it that they gave you for cocktails, which that plastic boot is back here in this case. Still don't know how I got it here. So as we got halfway across the field, uh, Jason Aldean was performing and we were walking. Just as we came down the steps, there were some pings on top of the neon lounge. And my wife asked me, were those firecrackers? I said, I don't think so. At that time, I, I knocked my wife down to the ground and I, I covered her up. I, I didn't know where the shooter was. I, I, I knew it was gunshots. Um, everybody just did what they could to protect themselves. So I laid on top of my wife and uh, I remember her in the hail of gunfire asking me, are we going to die here? And all I said was, I, I'll do the best I can to get you home. Um, but I see a lot of others that don't look like they're making it. When the hail of them bullets ended, um, we got up, I held her hand and I said, walk, do not run. We got to the gate to get to the truck, which was literally right there. As we got there, the bullets started again. And this time they were everywhere. They were in the parking lot. So I got my wife into the truck and another gal was running by at 100 miles an hour with her hands over her head screaming and my wife kind of grabbed her and pulled her into the truck. And we closed the door and we sat down as low as we could under the dash. I had a, I had a ice chest in the middle and I put it up so that I could cover the dome light. So Pat came around and as soon as he started to get in the truck, we saw that there were people laying under all the cars. So when somebody started their car, you would see somebody run from under the car. So all of a sudden we realized that there are lots of people trapped in this parking lot. I jumped back out of the truck and I went back um, towards the venue to start bringing people to the truck. So I went back repeatedly until I filled the bed of the truck. Right at that point, I heard a scream and I looked back across the field and got out, of the, got out and ran all the way back. And there was a young lady that had gone down that was hit. I picked her up and took her back to the truck. And I just felt everything get wet on my, my arms and my hands. It took a minute and we got out. And as I'm coming around the backside, I saw the first ambulance coming. And I remember I was flashing my lights, beeping my horn. I put my hand out. I figured they could get her medical attention faster than I could. And I jumped out and I'm banging on the door to get the gurney. So we got the girls to safety. Do you remember all their faces? Yeah, they all write me all the time. Um, they've become part of our family. People like, well, you assisted people. There were so many people that helped. I mean, so many, you know, that I would call them heroes. Many heroes I saw that night. Um, I don't classify myself in there. I just assisted some people. I saw heroes. You know, I saw people running into the gunfire and people laying on people and bandaging people. There were a lot of heroes there. You know, I had one of the dads of one of the young ladies that were in the truck find me and 
he said to me, I want to thank you for helping my daughter. And if there's anything I can give you, you let me know what it is. I'll give you anything I have. And uh, I said to him, the only thing I'd like you to do is if you're ever in this situation, just do the same thing I did, just try to help. And uh, he said to me, you know what? I don't know that I would have ever done that before. I think I would have ran. He said, but now I will never run. thousand strong came to sing along listen to the music and hear their songs hands up high holding phones in the night lighting up the field like the fourth of july neon and lead raining overhead lights went dark and the ground turned red 58 candles 58 flames 58 crosses that bear the names 58 loved ones called that day Now 58 angels are on their way Now many come to cry, many come to pray Never forget what happened that day On Route 91, 10, 117 Still hear the shots, still hear the screams Mothers and fathers, daughters and sons 10.05, we all became one 58 candles, 58 flames 58 crosses that bear the names 58 loved ones called that day 58 angels are on their way Yeah, they're on their way Fifty-eight candles and fifty-eight flames Fifty-eight crosses that bear the names Fifty-eight loved ones called that day Now fifty-eight angels, they're on their way Yeah they're on their way Country music's been a massive part of my life. I'm a songwriter. 58 Angels came about directly from that night. When I was designing it, I'd put on the uh, album cover, Forever Family, and I thought about the title, and uh, I did a little second song called Forever Family, which touched a lot of Route 91 family's heart, and we became Forever Family. And we support all of our angels who have left us, most people at the time had no idea where did the name Route 91 come from. So Route 91 is better known as Las Vegas Boulevard. Route 91 ran from Long Beach, California, straight through the California desert, down Las Vegas Boulevard, to Arizona, to Utah, Idaho, Montana to Canada. Route 91 still exists, but it's been renamed. And Route 91 today, we all know it as Interstate 15. A lost highway between here and L.A. October night, harvest moon. 
We all came to sing. We all came to play. We all came together that day. You can move on and you can change the name. You can change the time and you can change the place. But we're still here, we'll remain. And that night won't fade away. Memories we share, pain we bear. And we stand strong for the ones who've gone. The way we feel and what we've become Forever family Route 91 You've put away the crosses You can turn the page You can turn out the lights But that won't change You can't erase what I've seen And time stands still for me Let the tears roll down my face The angels sang amazing grace We're still here and we will remain And that night won't fade away Memories we share Pain we bear We stand strong for the ones who've gone Way we feel and what we've become. Forever family. Route 91. Forever family. Route 91. Pat's songs just really seem to resonate. I mean, they sure do with me. I can tell that it really does to the, the other survivors too. And a lot of those families, especially several of the people who have lost someone, they ask him to perform that song. They contact him about those songs. I think they help to heal, but I think they help to bring everybody together. 58 loved ones called that day. 58 angels, they're on their way. It's a, it's a large family and we, there's a lot of love within that family. For me, obviously, it's music. Music made it where I could get through it to help others, and I felt that that's, that's my way to help people heal. It takes you back to where, when you felt hopeless, you found hope within this. <laughs> 